In this video, I'll show you how to manually apply the latest update and any future update that appears first in Korea on your USA Samsung TV. Now, before I do, please subscribe to be kept up to date and click the bell too to make sure you're alerted of updates. This keeps you in the loop of any changes. Now, those of us that own Samsung TVs usually have to contend with the fact that the different firmware and software updates appear earlier in other parts of the globe. Providing your model and chassis number match that of any other region, which they do, for instance, in Korea and the USA, you can download that region's update and apply it manually to your TV. Don't worry, the update is in English. So here's what you need to do. First of all, you need a PC to download the software. Ideally, you need Google Chrome, and within Google Chrome, you can use Google Translate plugin. You also need a USB thumb drive, which is pre-formatted to FAT32. And then finally, a little bit of knowledge of unzipping and moving files and awareness of settings on your TV. Two and three really are not that important or a real need, but they do make translating websites easier. And given that we'll take the download from the Korean website, it kind of makes things that just a little bit easier. So the steps are quite easy. So first of all, we go to the Samsung Korean website and we allow Google to translate as I'm using Google Trans Chrome, Chrome Translate makes things a little easier. Next we look for the download which will be a zip file. We click on the link and the file downloads and then we double click on the download and extract the file to your computer. This will then provide a complete file that you need. We then move that file onto a blank USB drive. And if your USB drive is new, your computer will ask you to format that drive. So do so to at FAT32. Now we take this file over to the TV and plug this into the USB input. Next, turn on your TV and then go to settings, then support, then software update, Click on software update and your TV will check online first to see that the update is available to download. It will then ask you to check the attached USB thumb drive, so select OK. Now, as I'm in the UK, the update from Korea won't actually work, but those of you in the USA will get it to work for your TV. You will now find the update, you will, it will show you the version number and you click OK to update. Your TV will then install the update and restart your TV. And then if you go back to settings and then support, you will see that you have the latest firmware software installed. This method will work for any future updates that you see on the Korean website for your Samsung TV. Be sure to subscribe and we'll keep you posted as to, as to when the updates are available. Sadly, those of us in the UK, because of a different sh chassis model, have to wait for the Samsung UK site to provide the update. So for once, you guys in the US can jump the queue using this method. My name is Stu from 3B, and no more waiting for you guys in the USA for the latest updates for your TV. Love clicking things? I do, you do, we all do. Why not click some more things like the subscribe button? Or in fact, there's a bell button. How exciting. These mythical buttons make numbers grow and alerts appear like magic. Do it now and be part of the wonder of the interwebs. How about another video? Look, it's there. Mmm, lovely new video to watch when you're done clicking. Mmm, yummy.